Hello gorgeous peeps, how's it going? So today I am doing this look and it is going to be my spring 2014 makeup tutorial and it is going to be, as you guys can probably tell, a bright lip and more of like a smoky neutral eye with gold and some bread in it and yeah, basically with the skin, what's trending this spring 2014 is of course glowy, dewy, bright skin which you guys know I am obsessed with, it is my favorite look. So yeah, I'm excited to share this look with you guys so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've already primed my lids a bit, but we are going to be putting a base on. So I'm just going to be using my Scandal Eyes by Rimmel in the color Bulletproof Beige, but it's more of like a gold color, so I don't know why they call it Bulletproof Beige. Anyways, so I'm just going to put that in the inner corner of my eye. You can be messy because we are going on top of this later on, so just like that. Now I'm taking my color tattoo in pomegranate punk, and it's just like a pomegranate, like reddish color, and I'm just taking that on the outer V of my eye and kind of dragging it onto the crease, just using a clean finger to apply it. Just like that. Now taking my Naked 2 Urban Decay in the color T, so this one right here, and just putting that on the crease, just as a transition color. Just like that. Now I'm taking a flat shader brush and going into my Naked 2 palette again with the color Half Baked. You guys probably know I love this Naked 2 palette. It's, pro it's the first palette I got, so. I'm just putting that on top of the Rimmel Scandal Eyes. Very, very easy to do. This is a very simple eye tutorial. Now I'm taking um, any red color that you have, I'm just taking one from my Sephora box collection I got like four years ago, actually. So just patting that on, the outer V, dragging it on the crease a little bit, like that. And dragging it a little bit on the lash line just like that. Right there. I'm gonna take Max Brown Script and uh, or Swiss Chocolate and I'm actually gonna put that on my crease too. Because it's more of a reddish brown and I think the taupe or the tease is too brown and we are there. That's a little bit better. And blend everything in. Now taking my eyeliner. So I'm just going to look at the viewfinder right here. And try and do it like that. Because I can't hold the mirror and do this at the same time. But just tight line your eyes, your waterline. And just tight the top part of your eye, hope, I mean your lash line. Now I'm going to do the other eye. I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara and I'll be right okay, back. So now it's time to put some foundation on. I'll, I did put mascara on and curl my lashes. But before I do my lower lash line with some eyeshadow, we're going to do the rest of the face. So I'll be using my Makeup Forever HD High Definition. I am the number 123 and just my Beauty Blender. Just putting a pump on my hand.
now I'm going to be concealing my eyes with my MAC Pro Longwear. I am in NC25. I'm just going to be taking a pump and just putting that right there. There you go. Taking the excess and just putting it on spots that I need to conceal. Blending it out with my Beauty Blender again. This is by far my favorite concealer for concealing dark circles. You guys probably already know that. It's thin. It has a thin consistency but a full coverage and it does not cake up. So I love it. So now I'm going to bronze up the face a bit. I am taking my favorite cream bronzer. And it's of course Soleil Tan de Chanel and it just looks like that. So going from the cheekbone down. First in a padding motion. I'm kind of like pulling it down pulling it up and swirling it a bit to just blend it out so it's not such a harsh line. Using a cream bronzer will help you give that um, glowy skin as well. Bronzing my forehead a bit, my temples, and connecting that from the contour we just did on our cheekbones. Same thing on the other side. And contouring the chin. Get rid of those. That double chin. Now I'm going to be setting everything and I'm just going to be using my Benefit Get Even Powder. It's really good for like taking away shine so we're just going to put it to set our under eye area and kind of on our T-zone. I'm just going to press it in and kind of roll it then kind of go back and forth like that and same thing on the other side roll it and back and forth I find that this helps um, help with not creasing and just pat it on the t-zone So for the rest of the face, we are going to powder it to set our bronzer and all the foundation and everything. But we are going to be using something with more of a satin finish and that's a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. So we're just going to dab it on like that. Set it the other side. See how it hasn't taken away the glow, it still has like that satin glowy look to it. So we're going to be doing a bit more bronzing, but I will be using a powder bronzer now on top of that cream bronzer. Sorry, I hit my thing. And I'm just using this Tarte, um, what is this? It's uh, the Holiday Edition and I'm just using this one right here. Same thing pretty much what we did with the cream bronzer. Just be very light handed with the powder bronzers. If you're going for a natural look, that you can skip this step. Taking a stippling brush and just blending it out so it's not such a harsh line. This is one of my favorite steps. It's how you can get your bronzer to look flawless. Okay, now we're going to be adding a little bit of blush just on the apples of our cheeks and dragging it up a bit. And I'm just using this, it's like a nudie, corally color. It goes with pretty much every look. I used to, I tend to use this, I tend to use this color quite a bit. So just taking um, a Real Technique brush. This is actually a powder brush, but I like to use it for my blush sometimes. And just smile and drag it a bit. Or a hint of color. 
To add more glow, I'll be taking my Essence Twilight Breaking Dawn. I love. I used to love Twilight. I still do, but I love this um, highlighter. It's very pigmented, so just use a little bit and tap the excess. And just putting that on top of the blush, and this will help give you that glow still. Alright, so moving on to the lips, this is one of my favorite part because it's my favorite spring color right now, or my favorite, um, it's my current favorite lip color, and it is Candy Yum Yum by MAC, and I don't know if the camera is picking up how vibrant the color is, but it is so, it's just such a nice vibrant neon pink, I love it. the complete look. Um, I hope you guys like it and if you do please don't forget to press thumbs up, press the like button. I would really really appreciate it. Um, so yeah I went with a bright lip because I'm just super duper obsessed with like a bright lip lately especially this spring. Um, I'm actually gonna be doing like my favorite lip colors for spring. If you guys want me to do that please comment down below and I am doing a boho chic or boho festival festival hairstyle using this and spicing it up a bit so stay tuned for that I will be actually putting up a picture of me with this look and that hairstyle as my profile how would you say that as the display pic for this video so if you guys want to see how I got that look again comment down below Alright, have a great night, day, wherever you are, and I'll see you very, very soon. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe. I love you. Mwah.